In this episode, I take a question on TLS certificates and how to use them with Docker for local development and then how that might change once you get to production. Next up, how can I handle SSL cert? Uh, let's see. Santiago says, how can I handle SSL cert for Nginx in local environment, dev environment, to prod for HTTPS? Yes, so um, locally, you just need to create your own certs. If you're, if you're gonna do local development, then what I would probably do is use Nginx or traffic or something like that inside your compose file. And that way you can have URLs and pass those back to your app, right? And you can look up, let's encrypt. Let's encrypt has a good article on certificates for local hosts. And they give you the whole background on why you shouldn't get wildcards or why you shouldn't go use a let's encrypt for local host traffic. Um, and that you really should just generate them, store them on your local machine and bind mount them into your containers at runtime. Use Docker Compose to bind mount those certificates into your running containers, and that way you'll always have a, a trusted certificate. Now, if you use the same certificate all the time, and this is what I do, then you can store it outside your project somewhere on your local machine, and then you can tell your browsers to trust it. So if you're using the name that matches the certificate, if you create the certificates with the name localhost, on your local machine, and then you use those in your compose file for your proxies, and then you tell your browsers to trust that certificate, then you have a, you know, you have a great local development environment that is always gonna work, it's not gonna give you warnings, and your browsers will trust it. You don't necessarily need to go get third-party certificates because those don't work for local machines, they're, they're not designed for local machines. And I wouldn't necessarily share these certificates out, there's no reason to really share them, they're easy to create, you know, so it's, to me, it's kind of like an SSH key. You just keep it on your local machine. You might even just keep it in your .ssh folder or create one called .cert in your profile on your local machine and just store them there and link to them in your compose files so that you always have them when you need them inside of your proxies or any web servers that you want to have SSL locally. Now, of course, in production, that's a totally different deal. If you're talking about Docker Swarm, for instance, um, I like to use Let's Encrypt with traffic, which traffic is a front-end proxy that works like Nginx in that way. And I have a repo called dogs versus cat that has an example of that. I'll also throw that in here for you. Um, that repo has an example of how to use a traffic proxy with Let's Encrypt. So it'll automatically go get your certificates and bring them back. Now, if you wanna go buy your own certificates like we, we traditionally used to do, that's fine too. You could store those in secrets in, in Swarm. If you're using Kubernetes, you could also store them in secrets, and that way they'd be available for whatever containers you need. Hopefully that helps, and good question. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe, and the notification bell down there will let you know when I go live every week to take your questions on Docker and DevOps. You can watch these videos over here, or you can just go watch those cat videos you've been meaning to watch. <laughs>